Wenger EZE Manchester Limited, and that a new company is now running the restaurant. Rob and Gerald need to see some proof. Yeah, if we've got that and the lease agreement, just to show that it's new lease. Staff say they've already been visited by bailiffs looking for EZE Manchester Limited. They say they've even contacted the previous owners to tell them to pay off their debts. It's now 7 p.m. and Rob and Gerald are heading to the second address they have on file. This one is in the heart of central Manchester and looks much like the restaurant they've just been to. East, Z East, restaurant and bar. Once again, the sheriffs head inside in search of the debtor. Hello. You all right? Smart. Looking for a company called EZ Manchester Limited. Yeah. This time, it appears to be the company they're looking for. Now, Gerald and Rob need to track down its director, Shazad Kazmi. Are you Mr. Kazi Kazmi? No. Right, OK. But this is EZ Manchester Limited. Yeah. OK. Is the director around, the owner, the manager? If you go downstairs, speak to someone on the field. Yeah. Rob and Gerald descend into the depths of the bustling restaurant. All right, mate. Right. Can I help? Are you the boss here? For the time being. I was actually looking for uh, Shazad Kazmi. Shazad Kazmi? Yeah, he's listed as the director. He basically is in Belford at the moment. Is there any way of getting him on the phone? Because we've got an outstanding balance at the moment of almost £4,000. OK. Uh, if, if we can just get that settled, we're gone. We're yeah. done. One second. Um, just take a seat for me. All right. Oh. Not much belly room here, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> so far, everything is going well for the sheriffs. We've met with the manager here. He's confirmed that our director that we're looking for is the director of the business that's here, which is our defendant business, EZE Manchester Limited. Bingo. So um, I'm hoping this matter is actually going to be settled really quickly. I really don't want this to kick off here. There's a lot of members of the public here. But the manager is taking a long time to return. I am really hungry now. And when he does, he's no closer to getting the debt settled. I don't know where the he or if he's in Blackford or Liverpool one, Preston one, Birmingham one. Yeah, I know, they're all... Yeah. 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 Multiple restaurants and three different owners. Things are getting confusing, but Rob has done his research. But we can see the different companies. We can see EZE Bradford Limited. We can see EZE, yeah. all the other ones. This one we're chasing is EZE Manchester Limited. Manchester. What paperwork have you got on site at the moment? I don't think anything available at this time. Because obviously, okay. office, well, the office yeah. closes at 5 o'clock. Right. By law, you've got to have your public liability up on site. I can give it a few more minutes. After that, I'm going to have to start listing items. Um, you know, I can't drag it on all night. Yeah. With all the paperwork apparently locked in an office, the sheriffs need to find another way to prove this restaurant belongs to the debtor. Where would paperwork be published? Gerald goes to investigate. What's happening then, boy? I'm just looking around. You've got the invoices and stuff, delivery invoices. All the paperwork that's there is all east to east. The manager has now also returned with a document and some new information. That's our company, this one. It's a certificate of incorporation for a new company called East 2 East Manchester Limited, not EZE Manchester Limited, but Gerald is not convinced. All this goods, I want to see, the, I want to see who owns every single thing in here. It's rubbish. And he comes up with another plan. Can you print me off a blank service seat where just a blank one so I can see what the company's name on that? That's the till till receipts. Rob logs on to an online database to see if he can trace the VAT number on the receipt. Bingo. Why? That VAT number yeah. is registered on the European site for cross-border trading. Name, EZE Manchester Limited. Right, let me go and show this guy here, then. Ah. Rob and Gerald's detective work has paid off, and they're now happy they've got enough evidence that this is the debtor to enforce the writ. This needs to be paid in the next five minutes. 
otherwise I'm taking everything away, including the contents of your till. That VAT number there goes to a company called EZE -E Manchester Limited. No idea. Man. Company registration number of the company I'm after. I'm trying to get through the VAT counter. I'll show you a, a screenshot now if you want. I don't want to see it. There you go. Right. Well, I'm not waiting. Leave that there. That's afraid. a notice. So I'm going to give it five minutes, and then it's going to go to sales stage. It'll just keep going up. Now in panic mode, the manager disappears to make a phone call, leaving Rob to spell out the reality of the situation to the staff. I'll be taking all the chairs and tables and everything, and that'll be done as soon as possible now. I'll warn you now that obstruction of us is a criminal offence, all right? We're enforcing a high court writ. Can you start, like, from the phone? I'll start where I need to start. Later, when the restaurant keeps stalling, the sheriffs are forced to take drastic action. Can you ask everyone to leave? We're now shutting the place and clearing everything out now. Andy and AD are at Excel Motors Limited in Peterborough to collect £3,000 on behalf of single mum Lorraine Johnson, who was sold a faulty car. I am tell her, bring me car back. I go her house. I tell me, give me car, I will the, give you money. No. After the, you don't need to ask if you get money uh, back. Calm down, calm down. Company director Ari Faggy wants the car back before he'll pay. But Lorraine wants her money first, as the court ordered. Now Mr Faggy asks the sheriffs to speak to his accountant. Hello, right, sir. Andy hopes he, at least, will see sense. I'm here in order to obtain payment in full or removal of assets for sale at auction in order to clear the debt. Um, at the moment, I am at enforcement stage one, but it is very quickly going to escalate in, up to enforcement stage two. Doesn't matter what I'm on. They give me the cover, I give you the money. I, ca I cannot listen okay. to this gentleman. But the accountant also seems to be expecting Mrs Johnson to return the car first. The judge has awarded the, the claim against the company for it to be paid, OK? But, no, but no, no, nowhere does it say that the vehicle has to be returned and when. There is nothing which is going to stop enforcement today whatsoever. So, like I said, I'm here at enforcement stage one. She's not giving me the car back. We're not here for that. Uh, we are you to collect this money. I know, but should you care about me as well? I'm not saying I don't want to pay I'm back. Sorry. I say I want to pay her back. Right, listen now. I am going to her house. Shush, She's that. not accepted. Shush. Call yourself. If, you, if you're if you not. Okay, right. Okay, I'm not... done. What do you say? I'm what listing say? vehicles, okay? What they have to. Okay. Andy's had enough. I'm going to look at a vehicle to remove if it's not paid. Let me remove. I'm not saying paid. Come down. Pardon? Shut your mouth. Come down. Let me do my account. What to say? I'm not yep. saying you pay. I'm first time I said you pay you. Come down. I'm said you paid. Come down. No one Go. said that they're going to pay. I am said you pay. Okay, then let's look, get look. it paid. Why are writing down to her? Why you say to that? You don't need to shout at me. I either. am shout to you. You're not listening. I said you pay, pay, pay. Then let's okay, get it paid. Okay, go outside. I pay. Okay, yeah. Go outside. Wait. Let me do what, what invites me, what he say. OK, go, well, you get your advice. Why are you not anything? Listen, we are you to collect the money, OK? That is outstanding. OK, let me do. Can I speak to her in there, please? Yeah? Hello there. Hello. I am not saying not pay. I want to pay. I go her house. Excuse me. Calm down. I want to pay. Just calm down. Yeah. This needs to be paid at stage one now. Yeah. We've been here Don't and we are getting a boost. We are not here for the boost, we are here to collect money. So my advice to you is to advise with your colleague to pay this first stage amount now immediately. I can't give you legal advice. The only thing that I can do is suggest that you make the payment, get the judgment clear. Well, the payment is 2,500. No, it's not. It's more than that. Enforcement stage one now it's 3,060. Three minutes time, is going to go up to stage two. The director is beginning to get the message that he has no option but to pay the bill. You say you have to pay the cheque, how will you pay you? You can't pay the cheque. It's uh, either, either bank transfer or, or cash. Give me bank transfer, you pay the bill. Bank transfer. OK, send me the link. Finally, the debtor has stopped arguing. 
Andy completes the paperwork, and with payment in full confirmed by the office, it's time to leave. Paid in full, that's what we wanted. Quite heated at the beginning. The, the director was not listening. That's actually him that's just gone past now. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to be on the way to the claimant's house to try and recover the vehicle. That was Mr Faggy driving off to get the car back from Lorraine. Which is fine by her, now that she's got her money back. It's taken over a year to get this matter settled. It's just amazing that I've got this money back now. And I really, really thank the sheriffs for this. It's a boiling summer's day in 2018, and High Court enforcement agents Tommy Coyle and Michael Perkins are pursuing a debt in rural Oxfordshire. We're in uh, Abingdon today, uh, on this uh, morning. Uh, we're on our way to a company, a limited entity today. It's Abbey Motorcycle Instructors Limited. Uh, we're going to the commercial address, uh, which is always good, so hopefully we can get peaceful access from the off. The company owes more than £2,000. Given the nature of the business, Tommy and Mike are confident of getting a result. Hopefully, there could be uh, assets there, is in the way of motorbikes, uh, could even be uh, minibuses relating to the company due to where they travel out to and then do the obviously motorbike training. Uh, so 